नमस्ते एंड गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज डॉक्टर अमिया पांगारकर एंड लेट मी स्टार्ट बाय वेलकमिंग ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल द ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस प्रेजेंट हियर माई वॉम रिगार्ड्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू लेट मी स्टार्ट बाय वन वेरी फन पोल Please raise your hands for those of you who have used ChatGPT or any AI tool for doing home assignment, or doing writing a uh, love letter, or doing a Studio Ghibli character of yourself. Now, great, amazing. Now raise your hands those who have used AI tools for learning something new, or restructuring something. Uh, your cv or decoding something which is way more technologically advanced and complex thank you so much you would have seen the contrast and that's exactly is my problem statement today we have amazing amazing ai tools but are we using them rightly appropriately or at all we are using ai where it is actually required see ai is like a fire it can cook food for you but at the same point of time it can also burn your house you need to use it effectively and appropriately you would be surprised to know that today india is the largest user of chat gpt but one of its popular spike has come on valentines day i know a girl who had received exact same eight love letters on her dm because these goons didn't even change the prompt we are in this world my dear friends one more number for you 42% of india's corporate employees today are using ai tools and chat gpt being one of the very popular one of them now last few week back you would have read this news that on one day for 20 minutes one of the very popular ai tool server was down in india just for 20 minutes and you know the surprising thing almost close to 200 individuals were sacked on that day because their true skills or lack of their worth was exposed to the higher management in just 20 minutes see i'm not i'm not anti ai in fact i have written india as one of the first book on generative ai tools 2 years back i have trained somewhere close to 17000 individuals globally on using ai tools and effectively utilizing them for their career betterment but if you go back to my ai being fire example with these thousands of ai tools coming in and millions of us using it what we have actually done is given match sticks to everyone and have forgotten to give the instructions to use them and so everyone is using the way they want and at the place where they want see ai was developed with an intention to make our lives better faster smarter and definitely sustainable it is not at all for just making reels imagine your future where ai is being used for predicting floods and therefore preventing the losses or it is helping farmers to know when the crop seeds to be sowed depending on the market data depending on the consumer needs and this is the ai that i signed up for not the one which generated some uh, linkedin post like dear struggle thank you for making who i am today hashtag monday motivation hashtag ai generated see the i also know one startup in india who had come up with an ai tool after spending 3 months of their time which generated hook up lines and pick up lines just 3 months before their one of their investor backed off this ai tool had come up with a very interesting hook up line pick up line saying hey are you an algorithm because you are running over my cpu entire night i know another one of ai tool that told me who i was in my past life there's this one more ai tool that tells me uh, what should i gift you the gifting ideas like for instance uh, i should gift mittens on uh, baby shark there are, let me just give you two three more example of pathetic ai use cases that i had seen one is being linkedin uh, auto replies one there was this photo of a person eating biryani and you know what a ai tool linkedin auto reply was so insightful and people use it 
I know a AI tool which uh, has given that can resize your Instagram photos onto a sandwich toast. Yes, this is right. I'm not kidding. There's one more AI tool that can defake Bollywood photos, characters, or anyone's photo onto a cat. Again, it's a AI use case. See, every time we are using these AI tools, it's like someone is giving you Ferrari to drive and you are using it just to buy milk from around the corner shop. Is it the appropriate use? Think again. We don't need artificial stupidity, my dear friends. We don't need artificial stupidity. If at all we need something is augmented wisdom. And are we even closer to that? Satya Nadella had once said that AI is not for just doing old things faster, but for doing things which we think were impossible few days back. Let me tell you one very interesting story of a rich person. Okay, so this one rich person had an amazingly great luxurious car. On one fine day, his driver was on leave. This chap was driving his car on his own. While driving around the countryside, the car broke down. Under the blazing sun, this uh, man started cursing his life, started cutting his fate. There was no one person to see around so that he, someone could uh, start his car back. He started cursing his life, saying, I have millions in my bank account, but not a soul to help me. What should I do? He sees a very small kid around. Kid comes to him, asks, sir, what happened? He said, ang angrily, he replies, can't you see my car has broken down? The boy says, sir, can I, I can help you. There's this one old person in my village who used to be a mechanic at a car shop, repair shop. He says, please, please invite him here. The boy goes, brings back that old fellow. And you will surprise that old fellow comes with a stick, two back, 70, 75 year old. He has requests the person, sir, can you please start the ignition? I want to hear the sound of the car making. He says, okay, fair enough, I'll start. He hears to the, the old man, hears to the sound and requests, sir, can I get a hammer from your toolkit? The person gives him the hammer. This person opens the bonnet and third, he hears a hammer sound. The angrily rich man says, what did you do? It's a very luxurious car. What did you break down? He says, sir, don't worry. Now start your car. Your car will run. And to his surprise, car starts. Rich man says, thank you so much. How do I owe you? I need to pay you for your services. He says, sir, it's just a one tap. You don't need to pay me. But he says, no, I insist, please. The old fellow says, if at all you have to pay me, pay me 10,000 rupees. He says, okay. Here are your 10,000 rupees, but can you just give me the breakdown? He says, fair enough. He says, one rupee for hitting the hammer and rupees 9,999 for knowing when to hit that hammer at what place. With generative AI, all the AI tools that you are using are actually that one rupee. And 9,999 is your human mind behind it. But unfortunately, today we are using it completely vice versa. We think AI is that 9,999 and we think that mind is just one rupee. See, skills isn't always about the action, but it's about understanding your experience, intuition and wisdom behind that action. We need to use AI that can revolutionize sustainability. Let me give you a few great cases of AI that I can see in today's data. Like for instance, in healthcare, we have AI that can detect breast cancers way more faster than human radiologist. I know an Indian startup called as Fussel that can uh, optimize your irrigation techniques and save somewhere close to 50% of water. There is deep mind AI that can prevent up to 40% of energy for your data center cooling. See, with all this, we are not lacking technology. But what we lack is intention and direction. Using AI tool without intent is like that old uncle who upgrades his iPhone every year and uses it just as a torch or for playing Candy Crush. Is it the appropriate use? Let me ask you again. See, AI is not at all failing us. We are failing AI but not asking appropriate and better questions. Towards the end, let me give you three important points.
for substantiating my case. One of the use cases or one of the definitions per se of AI says that AI is a technology that mimics human intelligence. A few of you who are from different fields and walks of life will uh, understand and will be with me that if I'm a cricketer, if I want to play cricket, I would uh, try to uh, mimic, let's say, Bharat Ratna Sachin Tendulkar. If I'm a singer, I'll try to mimic Kishor Kumar, Lata Mangeshkar. If I'm a painter, I'll try to mimic M.F. Hussain. If I'm a footballer, I'll try to mimic Ronaldo. So in all cases, we are trying to mimic who's legend in that field, right? So when it comes to intelligence, AI says that it mimics human intelligence. So human intelligence, my dear friends, is always considered superior. Second point, all these generative AI works on prompts. You know what a prompt is? An Oxford dictionary uh, says prompt is a command, right? Now in true sense, who can give command? Someone who is superior can give command to subordinates, right? So, in terms of using all these AI tools, humans are going to give commands to AI tools. So, again, the point substantiates that humans are superior than these mundane machines. And the third point, my dear friends, is again very important. All these generative AI creations, amazing discoveries of the entire century, so called, are called as, referred as AI tools. My dear friend, Hammer is a tool. Hammer on its own can't fix a nail in wall. You have to pick it and fix it. You can do that by your mere hands as well, but you will get hurt, right? And you will need more time. But to save one of the most crucial resource of your life, time, you pick the hammer and use it. Let's all have this very clear in my mind and everyone's mind that humans and human intelligence should always be the driving force behind this AI and not the vice versa. Whenever you are going to use AI tools for whatsoever purpose, please keep in mind that you are going to harm environment. And if at all you are going to use inappropriately or at places wherein AI is not at all required, you are causing further harm than doing any good. Like for instance, many of us give, a, while we are doing prompts, we use words such as please, thank you. We are not dealing with humans. These are AI tools. They don't have emotions. But the moment you use these words like please and thank you in your prompts, the energy required, consumed is way more higher. Let's think before we are using what we are using. Using AI wisely is like teaching it to prioritize people and planet than profit and productivity. Let's just use AI, train AI models so that we just not consume terawatts of energy but generate, contribute megawatts of meaning. So how do we substantiate? How do we make sure that AI is used appropriately? Very simple. Let AI do the grunt work and wherever the hard work is required, let humans do it. Now I have three cases again to close my speech. Very first thing for ensuring that the AI is being used for sustainability, we must educate before automate. All of us sitting here and many more who are listening to me, you all can give amazing generative prompts for generative AI. But do we really know why we are doing what we are doing? Second point, let's tax AI users. AI users should be taxed. The reason I'm saying that it will stop substantiative use of AI where it is not required. And third point, let's take AI to vernacular languages wherein the tier 2, tier 3 individuals can leapfrog with tailor-made AI solutions and can do great things with us. I would like to quote, end my speech with a quote from Alan Kay who says, if at all you were to invent, few, uh, means if you have to predict future, you have to invent it. So let's invent future where AI is not just a buzzword but a beacon that guides us towards smarter, faster and greener sustainable world. We need AI. We need AI that is being used appropriately. Let's 
नो एंड यूज ए आई वाइजली बिकॉज दिस प्लैनेट डिजर्व इंटेलिजेंस एंड नॉट जस्ट आर्टिफिशियल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर पेशेंट इयर थैंक यू